If you're going to have a home-based business, floral design or not, make sure that you're creating a space that is dedicated to your business and does not interfere with your personal life. So when I say that, it could be just a room in your house or a studio out back, but don't design in your kitchen in your living room. I mean, try to create a space that's still professional for you, even if it's at your home, especially if you're going to invite clients over um, for consultations or even if you have, it doesn't have to be major. It could just be one room in your house, but it needs to have a cooler or you need to have a cooler if possible or a small cooler or a cool bot or a cool room, a cool garage, <laughs> something that keeps flowers um, uh, properly handled. Um, a, a workstation, a place that is dedicated to designing, shelving, um, tool, everything you would have at a regular flower shop. So that's my advice to having the space at home because it's really hard. You start If you start working out of your kitchen or you start, it just becomes a big mess. I don't think people realize how messy flowers are, how much it, grossness is involved in flowers. Right, so, it's very messy. Buckets and you need to have a place to store all that. You need to have a, you know, you have to mulch all that product or, or your um, composting or throwing it out. You have to make sure you're, you're recycling and your trash can handle all that cardboard and paper. And there's a lot. So um, make sure that to that part of the question, I would say, keep yourself real organized um, for starting business out of your home. As far as trying to gain more business, all about social media these days and connections. So have a great Instagram. A lot of Instagram florists that are super popular work out of teeny little studios and right out of their houses. They don't have big fancy studios or flower shops. Um, so there's a, there's a way to have an online presence that makes you look bigger than life. So you can work on that. And then connections, make sure you're connecting with uh, your community, that you're involved, that you work with people that are your peers, get your name out there. Um, things like that will help create your, and we've talked about this before when starting your own right. business. Yeah.